Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ali. if you're new to my channel, and welcome to Beauty With A Purpose. If you are new to my channel, my name is Ali. I upload four videos a week, beauty, bible, and lifestyle. So if any of those interest you, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button, and let's get into today's video. All right, you guys, so for today's video, we are doing a review and wear test on the new Wet n Wild Tinted Hydrator. Now this says medium to, sh or sheer to medium coverage. So let's just go ahead, and I didn't even know that this came out. Hadn't seen it posted anywhere. So when I saw it on Target, and, uh, and that, when I saw it on Target's website and that my store had it locally in stock, went ahead and picked it up and I was like, ooh, this would be a fun wear test because the CC, the tar, the, you, oh my gosh, the Elf CC cream was a little bit too dry for me. This one, it says hydrator. So I was like, huh, could this be what I'm looking for? So yeah, let's go ahead and get into applying it and just testing it out for the day. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get into the application of this. So this is the Wet n Wild Bare Focus Tinted Hydrator. It says Tinted Skin Veil Hyaluronic Acid Squarlane Oil-Free Sheer to Medium Coverage. And it says this this oil perfector, this oil-free protect, oh my gosh, this oil-free perfector delivers hydrating benefits in a buildable sheer to medium tint. For a flawless, softly luminous complexion, hyaluronic complexion, hyaluronic acid and plant-derived squalene help promote healthy looking, supple, moisturized skin. So this is cruelty-free and vegan. So I got the shade medium, I think. Yeah, I got medium tan. And I didn't know that it was gonna be like this pink tone, so I'm hoping that it's gonna work. Um, I was just scrolling on <laughs> Target one day and seeing that they were selling this and I was like I haven't heard anything about this like haven't seen it posted or anything so I was like let me go ahead and pick it up okay so that looks like it's probably going to be a good match it's very very liquidy and usually with things like this and since this is going to be like sheer to medium this will be more of an every day let me throw my bangs back more of an everyday foundation so I'm gonna go ahead and just apply it with a dry sponge so yeah, we're gonna go ahead and go in with a dry sponge on one side, and then we will use a brush on the other side. So definitely sheer. And we'll try to do multiple layers just to really see. And I did uh, prime my face with my favorite primers, which is the Touch and Soul Prime Essence and the Hard Candy Primer, the jelly one, the Milk Makeup Group, group dupe. Okay, so going in with another layer. I know my lashes are big, but I wanted to wear them. I just have a little brown wing going on, which you can't see because the lashes are so big. Okay. So that is two layers. So now what I wanna do is I'm going to take some with a brush and just see how it applies on this side of the face. And I did about the same amount too. The color match is actually pretty good. I thought it was gonna be super pink, but it's not. No, what do you guys think so far? What do y'all think of it so far? Okay, so that is one layer with a sponge. I mean, with a brush. Now I am gonna go ahead and take a little bit more and do a second layer with the brush. I feel like I used more product with the brush than I did with the sponge. Wet n Wild is definitely a brand that I have to be careful with their face products because some of them can break me out. That's why I don't use their primer as much, their um, primer serum as much as I used to. And that's why I don't use their dewy foundation as much or the regular one. Cause it just, it's one of those things that just kind of breaks me out. So that is definitely, it, it looks the same. The application looks exactly the same. Um, it doesn't sit on the skin well so far. Like I feel like you can, <laughs> does it sit on the skin so far? I'm gonna do a little bit more. And the only reason for this is I am going to apply it on, with the sponge on both sides and just get these areas where I'm kind of been breaking out just to see. 
because I feel like light coverage is the best that I'm going to get. I feel like it's more sheer to light than it is sheer to medium, which I don't mind, just to tell the truth. So yeah, that is how it is looking so far. Like I said, I don't know if it's because it's so shiny or what, but I feel like you can see literally every single pore in my pour on my face imperfections are still peeking through i did three layers especially over these more problem areas and i feel like you can still see them so sheer to medium i think is kind of a stretch i would definitely say more sheer to light than anything so what we're going to go ahead and do is i'm going to do a time lapse of me applying the rest of my makeup All right, you guys, so that is it. We are going to go on about our day. It is currently 1042. We are going to be doing check-ins and wear and doing a wear test. I think we're going to the gym tonight. Not sure. Hopefully I can get back into the gym today. Hoping, fingers crossed. But yeah, let's go ahead and just go on with our day. Hey guys, so this is the first check-in. I'm in front of a window. There's no false light. Now it, it looks a little bit splotchy, but I don't know if that's because I missed some spots. Some spots um setting but this is what it's looking like overall i feel like it looks a lot more smooth and better and it's not as like remember how i was saying that my skin like you could just see like every single pore well yeah it looks a lot smoother after i set it and finish the rest of my makeup it's currently 149 so i've had this on since 10 11 12 1 3 hours so yeah, this is the three hour check-in. It's creasing a little bit between my brows, but everything does. Other than that, everything looks good. Yes, I took my lashes off. I feel like they're just a little bit too much with the bangs and the brows, and it was just very, there's, there's a lot going on right here. So I took the lashes off, wasn't feeling them, but yeah, you guys, this is our three hour check-in. And honestly, I feel like everything is looking good. So yeah, see you guys later when I check in again. All right, you guys, this is the last check-in for the foundation. I almost forgot and got in the shower. But this is how everything looks. I think it looks pretty good. I even cried at Bible study. So I think it looks pretty good and held up pretty well. And yeah, so I'm breaking out. And I think that's still from like my monthly stuff. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and take a shower. I think that this is pretty good for going, how, for, that. for going on almost 12 hours. I think that this held on great. So yeah, I recommend that you guys try this out if you're looking for something that's not as dry as the LCC cream. And I really hope that you guys can hear me over the shower. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.
all right you guys that is it for today's video i hope that you guys enjoyed this video go ahead and let me know what you think of this will you be trying it out had you heard anything about it or was i like was i the only one in the dark or are you just living under a rock like me so i love you guys always remember that jesus loves you more if you haven't already please go ahead and give me a thumbs up also hit that subscribe button and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys Mwah.